Hello, mates. Oh, I am the mighty Blantain, doing a really bad Australian accent, which I'm going to drop right now. But the reason I'm doing it in the first place is because we're looking at something tonight. That, that's, come on. Some of you guys remember this. Some of you don't. Actually, looking at the target, not the target, but the, the actual viewing audience statistics for my channel. I Most of you guys don't remember this shit. These Dunkaroos! Dunkaroos! Come on. Some of you will remember these. Um, I bet... Shit. You guys are like 21 to 30-something, most of you. 21 to 35, so maybe a handful of you remember the Dunkaroos. And the comparison I'm about to make is to um, Nabisco Ready Snacks. Okay, so I'm just going to give you some of you a history lesson, and some of you are going to know what I'm talking about and not even question it. But handy, not Ready Snacks, handy snacks. Back in the day, Nabisco, I believe it was Nabisco, released a, a handy snacks, which was big. It was in a package like this, clear plastic, cheese, a very thick cheese paste. I was going to say sauce, but it was more of a paste. Cheese paste. And some crackers. Saltine crack, basically saltine crackers. Stacked in this section here. And it came with a little red plastic stick. A rectangular stick and you get grabbed the saltine cracker, you dipped your stick into the fucking cheese paste, and you spread that cheese paste on the cracker, and you fucking ate it. And kids loved it, parents ate it up, and we ate that salty, delicious fucking cheese paste on those salty, bland saltine crackers for fucking years. And we liked it. We loved it. And Handy Snacks eventually did, like, breadsticks that you just dip in there. They saved them from having to make the plastic sticks. Um, but other companies caught on. They were like, oh, okay. And then Dunkaroos showed up. Dunkaroos, they had this, like, cartoon kangaroo, you know, the pouch, the dunking, whatever. <clears throat> but this was different. This was not cheese and crackers. This was... Cookies and frosting. Oh. 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 oh, I'm doing this right now and remembering the thrill of eating this shit back in the day. Look at that. Yeah, frosting. Oh, frosting and cookies. And it's basically just like a cinnamon sugar cookie. Like Barnum's. Why the hell is this so difficult? Barnum's. Um, Animal crackers, cookies, and this chocolate frosting. So, it's like the dessert version of the handy snacks. Mm. Hey, you better lick that shit off the lid. Mm. Oh my god. It's just like the old Bitty Crocker frosting. So, <clears throat> these showed up, and this was such a difference. In the dessert version of the handy snacks. And we fell in love with these fuckers. And I thought that everybody liked it, and it would be around forever. But somehow, just like the handy snacks, it disappeared after time. And... Nobody fucking cried about the crackers and cheese, but everybody cried when Dunkaroos was gone. So they brought this back. As far as I know, it's only available in select locations, like Circle K, gas stations, and maybe a couple of other places, but I picked up my favorite a little while back, the chocolate frosting with the vanilla crackers. My kid... <laughs> remembered me talking about them and when she saw them show up at the local store she got me the vanilla cookies with the vanilla frosting with rainbow sprinkles gotta love that kid it's very good 
but <clears throat> this is delicious. The frosting and cookies are exactly as I remember them. Thank you, Betty Crocker, for getting your shit right. But what I used to do, and I don't know if everybody did this, but I would grab a plastic knife or a butter knife out of my parents' silverware drawer if I was eating these at home, and I would take the frosting and stir it up a bit. Now, anytime you buy Betty Crocker frosting, whether it be in a can or whatever, or in Dunkaroos, I guess cans or Dunkaroos are the only two options. Maybe some cake mixes, I think, include the Betty Crocker frosting in a pouch, a foil pouch, that you're supposed to knead, K-N-E-A-D, knead, over and over again for like however many minutes they tell you straight before using it. And I think that's where I got the idea from was the fact that, you know, frosting packets were supposed to be kneaded and they recommend you stir the canisters, but they never said anything about Dunkaroos packets. So I would find a fucking plastic knife in the lunchroom at school or whatever the hell I could get my hands on. And I would stir this shit up a little bit to make it a little creamier, a little less shiny and um, I think it made a difference I don't know maybe it's just blending the air into it makes it fluffier and change it changing the texture might actually change the flavor a little bit I don't know but stirring this frosting makes a big difference mm-hmm absolutely Fuck yeah. So. Mm. Stir that shit, man. <clears throat> they may have ditched the cartoon mascot with the kangaroo. And there is absolutely zero marketing campaign that I have seen for these things. But. Mm, mm, mm. Make sure to buy them so your kids can try them out at least once. I don't even care if you grew up with them or not. Your kids deserve to at least have experienced Dunkaroos once in their lives. <laughs> There's that same mess with the vanilla with the rainbow sprinkles frosting. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stir that shit up. I'm gonna try to. Oh, I learned from the first time. I'm keeping it in the bowl. Well, in a little plastic container. More so than I did before. I will say this though. There's a reason I didn't buy buy the vanilla one when it first came out. <clears throat> and only got the chocolate. It is definitely inferior. <laughs> 
Look at the ridged, scalloped edges on those cookies. Look at the little coins. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm. For those of you who have had these back in the day and you were thinking about the re-release and wondering if it was worth it, it is. They are absolutely delicious. Now, it wasn't square back in the day. The little frosting was a warm was rounded and came down to a rounded off almost a point but not quite a point but it was just about enough frosting to cover half of each cookie <clears throat> If you dipped it right. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, more frosting than that in these new packs. We're going to find out here. I don't know, there's definitely more frosting here than there was before. Mm-hmm. There's the mess. Little tiny cookie crumb here. Now, what? What we used to do back in the day, those of us who weren't into waste, and, you know, who is these days? We ran out of cookies, even with that differently shaped frosting reservoir there would be a slight bit of frosting in the bottom in this case it's about half full still well maybe a quarter full never let that go to waste right hang on I don't want to make a mess of my face here so I'm gonna clean it up around the edges and just slightly get into the side there for a second. Hang on, this is leading up here. I mean, you inevitably know what's going to happen here, so. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. They didn't go with the same shape of the frosting reservoir, but what they did do was they introduced a step. which also existed in the old setup. Ooh, pardon. But if you look there, there's a slight ridge on the inside that
on the outside. <clears throat> There's a slight ridge on the inside there that prevents you from going all the way down in. But if you clean that up first, then you're free to just Mm. 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 Go straight in for that mouthful of frosting. Mm. Mm. That's fucking delicious. Mm. I mean, you can't tell me as a kid that you never just shoved a spoon into a can of Betty Crocker frosting. And if you say you never snuck around and did that when your mom wasn't looking, you're fucking lying. Holy shit. <clears throat> so good. Hang on, we're almost there. <laughs> All right. I've reached a point of diminishing returns here where it's it's causing me more pain than well, not necessarily pain, but at least discomfort than it's worth to go after those last few bits, but But at the same time, it's almost worth it. So, <clears throat> anyway, Dunkaroos are back. <sighs> Probably for, quote-unquote, a limited time, which is always the case these days. But while they're here, indulge your inner child. Or, fucking let your kids enjoy them. Until they're gone, because and there's no reason not to enjoy them. And, uh, you know. Who knows when they're going to disappear again. Hmm. Hmm. Almost done.
Anyway, I'm just my thoughts on the Dunkaroos. And I'm wondering why the hell I went to so much effort on the chocolate frosting when I could have just done this in the first place, but whatever. Hmm. Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. Frosting delicious. Anyway. Like I said, just my thoughts on them. Hit me up down below there in the comments or the email link. <clears throat> Love to hear about your memories of Dunkaroos or what you think about the new ones. <clears throat> While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. We can drink up. Snack on.